New hope for families dealing with a rare genetic disease. It's a breakthrough in what's commonly called bubble boy disease. That disorder attacks the immune system. In the past, it forced doctors to take extreme preventative measures. But as we hear from health reporter Haley Hernandez, there is a new treatment option. Back in the 70s, we did put babies in bubbles, and that's how they were treated. 40 years ago, doctors called it a one in a million disease. But since then, we no longer do that. Severe Combined Immunodeficiency, or SCID, is a rare genetic disease. Hollywood brought it into the public eye in 1976 in The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, a movie starring John Travolta. Heather Smith lived it. He smiled at my husband, and the doctor said, babies that are really sick won't smile. I think he's going to be okay. Okay. And three weeks later, he passed away. Doctors learned Smith's son, Brandon, was born with the genetic mutation, leaving him without an immune system. Her second son, Taylor, would be born with the same disease. He was treated with the first ever in utero bone marrow transplant. Today, Taylor is 23, a college graduate, and up until recently, living a full and healthy life. There is no need anymore for bubbles, but there is still a place for isolation. Dr. Jennifer Leading is is the director of the SCID newborn screening program at the University of South Florida. The only way to treat SCID is um, replacing the infant's immune system or um, fixing the infant's immune system. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital just released new results in the New England Journal of Medicine revealing eight babies treated with the gene therapy are growing and developing healthy immune systems. Gene therapy is the new kid on the block, so to speak. Instead of giving a new immune system, System to the infant, you are fixing their own immune system. Now patients like Taylor are on wait lists for the treatment with the hope it will last a lifetime. The therapy hasn't been there long enough to know whether these therapies are going to be curative, but they are definitely making a huge difference in the patient's life. In our eyes, if it was a cure, then genetically it would stop and you wouldn't have to worry about the implications of it anymore. And he does have to worry about passing it on to his daughters. Taylor's daughters would likely become carriers of the genetic mutation like his mother passing skid on to their children. But with early diagnosis and combination of bone marrow transplants and gene therapy, children born with skid have a much better chance for a healthier, longer life. Now head on over to click2houston.com and you can find out more on what skid is and how doctors screen for it. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, we're going to be asking every five minutes to this guy.